show you how we're gonna perform Redis authentication with ClearPass for management access on a Cisco switch. We also are going to perform authorization by providing a privilege level for each user based on their Active Directory group. So on the switch, we're gonna perform restrictions or authorizations based on this privilege level. So if you have privilege level 15, you're gonna get full access. Privilege level five, you'll, be, uh, you'll have only the capability to configure the interface. And you could see here the user has full access to the switch since he's part of the group administrator. And you could see this user. And you could see this user has just the capability to see the interface configuration. So let's start. Let us prepare you to own, protect, and master your network. Net prepare. All right, so let's take a look at the configuration. All right, so this is the SSH configuration, nothing fancy. Just we're doing the SSH configuration. Let me put it on top. And what else we're gonna do? Let's configure also a couple of user. So this is just, you need to provide a name to be able to generate an RSA key. Then we're specifying that the timeout is 60 seconds. And then here you have the which version of SSH we're using. And here we're specifying the key and we're gonna, the size is 2048. All right, so this is like the radius information. So we give the radius server, the name, the IP address of the server and like authentication and um, authentication and accounting ports so we're specifying those all right now we're gonna specify the radius group all right so usually when you're in a, a big organization here it's a lab you could have multiple radiuses i'm gonna show you the difference uh now the options under it actually it's nice to do so here we're specifying as i said a, a new model and then we're specifying a radius group, all right? So those are the groups. So this is one of the servers. You could add multiple server. You could specify load, how you want to do the load balancing. Um, like you could go a, a, a dead time, or I right? specify the time in minutes to ignore a non-responsive server. That's actually helpful, especially if in your code you specify that initially to um, check the authentication with the server before checking it locally. Um, all right, so load balancing. There's a lot of options that here we we'll go over them in another video. All right, so here we're specifying uh, authentication login. Before we were using the default one, but like I really recommend use, uh, not using the default one because you'll be able to use different uh, authentication methods for different uh, stuff on your network. So just the capability, you could still do it on the default one. But like having different authentication um, groups is actually a good idea. I like it. I like tweaking it this way. So here also we're specifying this for authorization. We're giving it a name. This is the default one. We don't need actually anymore. Sorry. And here under the line VTY, and as I said, like for me, this is a example. Like for the line VTY. You want to specify like the radius first. For console, maybe you don't want to do that. So what you do is you configure the console to use the the default one, which use the local authentication. So that's why also I like doing that. And here we're providing a couple of uh, privileges. So like we're specifying that the users uh, on level five have the capability to configure the uh, interface switch board. Uh, he could configure the interface, he could configure, and you see here how it's configured. So, privilege level, interface, switch port. And under configuration, it's interface. Those are the capabilities that the device could do. And still, he could see the running configuration. Okay. So, let's exit. And so, let's test it out. Because we uh, 
the switches, I can't think. Uh, where's the authentication? Authentication? No, nope, it should be pushed. Why is this taking so long? Because this is uh, wrong, uh, I need to specify the local and group. Alright, so let's try again. Authorization list is uh, didn't have local in it, so it's checking with the uh, e pass if authenticated. Anyway, so let's see here what uh, options we have. All right, so we, you could see that in the show run actually directly, right? You could see all the configuration. Let's exit and let's try with the uh, 11. Actually, it's fine. And you see this user, you'll only be able to see the interfaces. And if you go under the interface, let me do one B, interface gate one slash Z, it's zero slash two eleven. And also, so we need to fix that. But you know what, I think what we could do is this uh, under switch what I want to be able to configure everything. So let's go under here again and I specify privilege. Okay. You could specify that I want all the sub uh, level 5 and here we need to specify switch port. So we're able here to configure all the switchboard configuration. Let me fix that inside this file. I'm gonna add this file so you guys could uh, auto the description or I'll add a link. Right, now let's configure the clear pass. I've also here added those. Uh, I'll also add them to the to the blog that I'm gonna create. All right, so we're gonna do add. So we're going to specify here uh, Regis Enforcement. So for us to go inside the servers, I was able to do uh, get, uh, like we needed to check that the NAS type is equal virtual and also like uh, the NAS port ID contained the uh, string PTY. You could keep it just virtual, but I felt more like we're checking also the VTY itself. Alright, so here we're gonna do PAP, so the authentication type is PAP. And you could actually create your, your user your user locally on clear pass, but for us we're gonna use the Active Directory users. Roles we're not gonna do anything under enforcement. So uh, we're gonna add a couple of enforcement policy. So let's uh, I don't know management enforcement. So this is the radius, the default type, uh, what we're gonna do is deny access for sure because not anybody in the organization will be, will, should be able to authenticate to the switch. Okay, so we're gonna create rules, we're gonna specify first, let's say, so let's do if the person is part of the group um, equal. Allow access for now. Let's create another one. Add rule. I uh, know copy. To copy it's easier. And copy and let's edit that. And 
let's move that up so it'll first check if it's part of code and now what we need to do is actually send the privilege okay so and this is a cisco a radio cisco attribute called cisco ad there so this is under prop uh, save first I should have actually created first the profiles before we go into this. So let's add this one here. So that's fine, you don't have to specify a template, but we're gonna name it this is gonna be management and let's name it privilege level 15. Accept attribute, let's change this here. Francisco and here let's copy this. So it's gonna be privilege level. And this should be exactly the same way I'm typing it, okay? Let's save it. Alright, so let's copy it. Let's click on the copy one, rename it. This is for the level 5. Now let's go back to the service because we're just sending management enforcement. Okay, so let's modify this. So when you're sending just to allow access, this means like the authentication is successful. We're not sending any other attributes. And in our case, we want to send the privilege levels. You could keep it, there's no harm in keeping it. Right? But uh, since we've already gonna send it with the accept, so there's no need to have it there. So let's look for the management, management level 15. No, this one's gonna be fine. Okay, management level 5. Let's see, move that. Save. And the admin is going to be management level uh, 15. In the next videos, uh, I'm going to actually show you the packet capture, which is kind of interesting just to see how things are going. Save. Alright, so let's take a look at the service. Yes, this is it. You could configure a role mapping, and from that role mapping, use the, uh, the, the roles to actually. Do the enforcement, which is also because in case you have local users, you want to give them the same uh, roles as the Active Directory users. You don't have to configure multiple places with everything roles and roles to specify the enforcement based on the tips that you actually uh, have provided for those users. But just for now, I'm doing it uh, this way. All right, so let's save the configuration. All right, let's test. So the first thing I want to test is that my user Alright, perfect, so I'm in And you could see we actually, I got privilege level 5 And let's take a look at the Add monitoring And you could see here And the, the output I got privilege level 5. Alright, and let me exit. So let's try with the administrator now. Okay, perfect. And you could see the administrator has full access to the switch. Let's clear here, see what happened. And you could see the output of the version of the fifteen. All right, guys, I think that's enough for this video. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, thank you. Oh, like and subscribe, please.